Okay, so we're wondering how to verify on Snopes if something is true. Um, so we have the email here. We're going, oh, wow. Did you know that if you sell your house after 2012? So I'm going to go sales tax to go in effect 2013 part of HC bill. I'm going to scroll over that and I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard. That's going to copy the those words so that I can uh, paste the exact words on Snope. Now I'm going to go up here to these two tabs on top of my Gmail. I'm in Gmail here. I'm going to go to the second tab and I'm going to connect without losing my Gmail. And in here in the address box, I'm going to type www.snopes.com. And you go to Snopes. Here it is. Of course, you could go to Truth or Fiction too. And in the search field, I'm going to do Control V like Victor on my keyboard and hope that it works. There it is. Sales tax to go into effect. I'm going to say go. Now it's coming up. Sorry, no matches. Okay, well, let's go back here and let's say uh, what else could possibly be uh, under the healthcare bill? What else? Why am I sending you this? Oh, we're going to wear the Obamacare bill. Did you know that if you sell your house after 20. It, let's try if you sell your house after 2012. Control C, copy. Go back to Snopes to search again. And hopefully it'll come up. There we go. Search. I'm going to put, if you sell your house, go. Now, here is a provision of health care legislation. Okay? So there you go. That's what they were talking about. So I'm going to click on that one. It's going to say, claim that a provision of health care legislation creates a 3.8% Medicare tax on real estate transactions. And it says that it's a mixture of true and false. It's true in that healthcare legislation imposes a 3.8% transaction tax on profits over. But it's false in that it imposes a 3.8% tax on all home sales. Okay, so you could go here then and read this. I don't intend to be selling my house anytime soon, so it's not of terrible interest to me at the moment. But you could definitely go read it. Sounds like it's partially true. I think it has to do with capital gains, not with the entire house sale. So there you go, and there you have it.